Is that working? Yeah, the Monday to Friday schedule continues. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us on this fine Monday evening. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the magical buttons for us. Like, subscribe, bell, all that normal stuff. I have to say it. I have to say it. Hit the buttons for us. Like the content if you enjoy it. Smash subscribe if you haven't already. Again, still like 35% of people that watch content isn't subscribed. Aren't subscribed. Isn't subscribed. Aren't subscribed. Aren't subscribed. Right? That's the words we're looking for. It's free for fuck's sake. Just click it. It's easy. And then you can hit that bell notification icon if you want to be notified every single time we go live or drop a new video. Or you could become a member of the Great Hall if you're not already. Exclamation mark member in chat. Exclamation mark gift in chat. Or if you're watching on demand, there's links in the video description below. Come and join us in the Great Hall. I am back from the weekend. Yesterday was a complete write-off because on Saturday, I drove for four hours after getting up at 5 a.m. to Element Games at Stockport to do the Only Thanes day up in Element Games, hung out with them chaps till half past six in the evening and then drove all the way back again, another four and a half hours, which was a right treat. And I've got back this weekend invigorated, excited to hobby. So much so I've actually spent all day hobbying. I'll show you what I've been doing in just a moment. But it was a great day. The Thanes are amazing. It's encouraged me and excited me to kick on with some hobby progress. Uh, moreover, one of the Thanes, actually, Mr. is Marvin, who's one of our Australian Thanes. Um, I think what we could do, sometimes I feel like doing this, at least. So what, we, should, what we should do is we should... I wonder if it will let me do it easily. Uh, is it because I've locked it? It's because I've locked it. So for Australian Thanes, what we should do is... There you go. So this is for Smarvin, our Australian Thane, right? He was the one who said to me, can you do a Knights Battle Report sometime soon? And I said, mm, we could. And then I started looking, I, did, I put this on Instagram today. Started looking at the night stuff that we have in uh, the studio. Started, I wanted to use a Lancer. And then that's how we've tumbled down this rabbit hole to me building a night army right now. With stuff that was mostly in the studio as well, by the way. But yeah, there we go. This is just for the, it's for the Australian Thanes. <laughs> yeah anyway let's put it let's put it back <laughs> there we go we're back to normal <laughs> just for the australians made them feel at home for a moment they must get motion sickness watching us so yeah um he was talking about he, like, he asked very nicely for a night battle report i went to use the knights in the studio i was like i don't really want to use these knights i want to use like the lancers and all the serastus class type stuff and i had the lancer built on my shelf in my garage okay but i'd never actually painted it it was just base coated black so i kind of dug that out and dusted it off the other day went into the studio and realized i still have the serastus uh acheron and the serastus class the other one castigator there we go i had all three of the big they're just the better looking knights they're just better looking knights and i was like i want to use these ones and not the ones that brom's painted so, um, lo and behold, I found we had some boxes of armages and stuff like that. So I went to the Thanes this afternoon and said, what do you want to see on stream? Uh, build a... Uh, they, they got five options, chat, right? I won't lie to you, they got five options. They had build armager warglaives. Four people voted for that. Build armager helverins. Build knight Acheron. Acheron, Acheron. Build knight castigator. Paint knight lancer. Ten people voted for the latter. If you're in the Thanes, you'll notice it says 12 people voted Joe and Kyle's votes don't count because they're not Thanes. So 10 people voted for that. Four people voted for Armages. So we're going to be continuing to um, to um, to uh, to paint the Night Lancer. What I mean by continuing is I've had it in the airbrush booth today. So we're going to be doing that one. Okay. We're going to be doing some, some Night... I'm not excited because painting on stream is hard. I want to build on stream because building on stream is easier. But the Thanes have spoken. So we're going to be doing some hobbying tonight. I'm going to ditch this hoodie because I've dipped the sleeve in paint, almost guaranteed. Uh, and we're going to get on with some painting. How are you all doing anyway? How was your weekend? If you got up to any hobby, please let me know what kind of hobby you got up to, you beautiful people. Uh, if you, if I get into painting and you want to say something to me, stick it on a big colourful postcard. Amy will read it out and interrupt me whilst I'm painting. Otherwise, I could get a bit hyper-focused. Extra light. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Boop, there it is. Um, oh, that's fucking bright, isn't it? Uh, let's, like that. That's a bit better. There we go. Uh, so, you know, let me know anything, really. Anything tonight. It's a hobby hangout night. It's more chill. I have a member's target, but we're less we're less stressed about the member's target on Monday's chat, okay? It'd be nice if we started hitting it every Monday as well. Just throwing that out there. 
the the target the target is people shocked to see Liam painting. You're you're not muted though. You go, you're unmuted now. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, chat, we've been hard at work today, right? I couldn't vote because I was asleep. What would you have voted for, Marvin? This is all your fault, by the way. Just, you know, I've just credited you that. It's all your fault. So, we have a top-down camera. It looked quite bare. Burr, right? So, we have the frame of the Lancer, okay? Which we have uh, airbrushed a layer of army painter matte black over the base coat, which looks the same as the black on the base coat, but I'm going to be keeping the metallic the metallic frame. I'm going to be keeping it black. I'm going to do a Joe and keep this black, but I'm going to highlight it. And for the highlighting it, we do have uh, Thunderhawk Blue and Dark Reaper. So we're going to be do using these. I should imagine I shall dry brush Dark Reaper, possibly edge Thunderhawk, probably dry, dry brush uh, uh, Thunderhawk, just because it's such a big frame. Okay. We'll also be picking details out. So things like the bearings here, etc. will go silver. We'll probably dot every rivet silver. And pick out some of the pistons and stuff like that. Make some of these bits silver, just to give it a bit of a bit of breaking up and make it look like it not like I've just left it black. Okay, that's important. Obviously, there's also armor panels. We've got head-based armor panels up here before the cheek panels go on. That I'll be painting with the colors that I've airbrushed onto the armor panels. I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, and we've got the foot panels that need to be painted um, as well. I might I might start with this today. I might start with the big frame, get the big the big centerpiece done. Also, because I'm a sadist. We can slide out this little cockpit piece in the middle and we have got this little cheeky chap to paint as well and this will come apart and he's in there as well we can take him out completely there ready he comes right apart there we go look at that there we go come off i'm gonna break it i won't break it on, on stream but he does in fact come out of his little seat liam says looking, looking at not breaking this guy there we go he's out of his seat we've got this little cheeky chap to paint as well and uh, yes I'm not going to be leaving the the top panel glued on. There's a reason I'm doing this because I like I want I want to paint the inside. I'm excited about painting the inside. So we've got this little man to do as well. Be fun. Oh hey, Mini Wargaming and Josh is here. What legend? Stu Will, thank you for the 10 gifted, by the way. What a hero. What a hero. It looks a bit like a plucked chicken. It does, doesn't it? But I I just think that the big tall Sarastas frame is significantly for, um significantly cooler than the Questorus class. I'm all about this life. Right, I'm all about this life. So there we go. Stu, thank you so much for 10 gifted. You legend already kicked us off. We then have the big shield. Again, this is already based with a metallic, not a metallic, a matte black. I have to paint in the armor panels, put some uh, metallic detail in, get the edging done. I don't know what I'm going to do about the shield. Yet. I want to do something cool with the shield. Uh, so this might end up being airbrushed after the fact to give it kind of a glow and a bit of OSL. But we'll see. I'm not sure on that one yet. We then have, obviously, the lance. Hey, the arms are glued in place, by the way. They're already posed, ready to go. I know where they're going to fit when I put them on. Um, so they're already in post. So a bit of painting on these as well. Again, already matte blacked. Because uh, if I fuck up and I go back over it with matte black, and it's a slightly different tint of black to the base coat that I used, it would look shit. So I've matte blacked everything. So that if I do make a mistake and I have to go back in with the army painted matte black, it will be the same color and it'll make sense. Right? And then we've been busy chat. So we have... First of all, the main panels. Yes, I've gone Sons of Horus Eye because I love it. We've been using Lupercal Green as a base, and then we've airbrushed up uh, Sons of Horus Green to give it a lighter center color. And we'll be adding some glazing to these as well to try and um, to try and darken the corners and stuff like that. We have done all these little panels in the, the various greens so far. This is my this is my day's work today. Getting ready for stream. Because for me personally, there's nothing worse than an airbrush on stream. I hate it. I've been working on all these. Look at this. How's it going, Josh? Anyway, I spoke to you in time, man. Hope you're doing well. You guys up at the bunker. My favourite people on that side of Canada. So got these bits to do, look. Then, we wanted some accent colour. So there's some shoulder pads that sit over these. So these sit on the knight's shoulder, like this. And then there's a shoulder pad that sits over the top of this. What I've done, I've gone for a nice red-green combo because Sons of Horus. Okay, I know Sons of Horus don't have a night household. This is me making up my own stuff as I go along. A nice, a nice strong red to go on top of it. It will make sense when it's done, trust me. Trust me, chat, trust me. So you've got these red shoulder pads, right? Like that, like that. And red banners. Look at this, I've got colour on stuff, chat. What the fuck is going on? 
Look at this. I love it there. Oh, there you go. So they, that is the bits I had airbrushed I've been working on today. I'm probably going to be, just to satisfy my wild fucking OCD, I'm probably, I'm probably going to be, um, not OCD, sorry, ADHD. I'm probably going to be switching between bits because I'll get bored quickly, right? Dang Skippy, thank you for the gifted. Stick Monkey, thank you for the five gifted. You're amazing. You're a hero. I love you. Thank you so much, you legends. Has she not read out the other ones yet, though? They've not come free. On Streamlabs. <laughs> Weekend was great, met a load of the Thanes, played a couple games, met Mr. The Kyle, spent a fortune at Element, twice, <laughs> kudos to Jill. Oh yeah, I met some dude called Liam too, seems a decent fella. Fuck you, Jay. Thanks, man, for the I finished building and painting my Logan Grimner, on sled, and I am really pleased with it. Currently building my Iron Priest and Ragnar Black Mane. I really like Dr. Mel's Jungle Space Wolves. Dr. Mel's Jungle Space Wolves are cool as shit, Stu. Thank you for the 10. I'm glad you're really pleased with that. That's amazing. Painting Logan Grimner, and I'm really pleased with it. That's that's all that matters. All that matters is that you're pleased with it. With any project at all ever in the world, all that matters is that you're pleased with it. And if you're pleased with it, what more can you ask? So as long as you're happy, that's great. Um, and then, yeah, uh, currently building my Iron Priest Ragnar Blackman. Ragnar Blackman is a beautiful model, by the way. Beautiful model. Uh, weekend was great. Oh, Jayco, by the way, thank you for the 10. Thank you both for the 10. You're both amazing. It was good to meet you too. So I hope you and your uh, your lady girlfriend had a wonderful time. It seems like you had a great time. Just because of the amount of bags you walked out of Element with. <laughs> Much stuff. Is this the official start to a new Horace Nighthouse for 40k? Maybe Horace Heresy. This is for 40k. I, this is just because I like the Eye of Horace. I don't know why I like the symbol. So I need to come up with some custom narrative for this particular household. I don't know what it looks like yet. But I do need to come up with some custom um, narrative for this. So at some point, we will work out what that looks like. Maybe we'll do it as a community. Maybe I'll just do it on my own. Maybe I'll write something up. Who knows? I have my wet palette. I actually have realized I don't have a water cup. So I'm going to do that briefly, and you can talk to Luce. No, don't talk to Luce. Why not? Because I'm trying... You say you're counting. <laughs> I'm trying to learn to crochet. And it is so dodgy. I can't believe how bad I am. Considering I've been knitting for... How old am I now? Mm, 20 years. I can't believe how bad I am at this. It doesn't... It honestly doesn't make sense to me. I can't understand where the yarn goes. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I don't understand it. Don't understand what? Crocheting. Because with I feel like with knitting, you can see where the yarn has gone and so it makes sense why it makes that pattern but crochet just makes no sense to me witchcraft makes no sense oh never really watched your channel but really enjoyed your interview with Siege podcast so I thought I'd come check it out oh thanks Adams welcome dude chat we have ourselves a grey name get the snipers out is that a flag you got there no <sighs> they're fucking banners that have to go on these nights I actually have strongly contemplated leaving them off Sean Genuinely, because I don't like banners in general. So I need to see if I can do something nice with it. Um, so this one here, this one sits in these little gaps here that just pushes in under here. Sits in there like that. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. <laughs> Shut up, Dave. I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't decided, Sean. To be honest with you, I haven't decided. Remember, it's not a cult. It's 100% a cult. Uh, about to start an hour and a half drive back to Ashford. Going to listen live. Keep me company. Well, I hope, you, I hope you enjoy the drive we met. I actually quite like driving on the whole. Other people annoy me on the road. <clears throat> Do you ever follow a diagram that someone else has drawn and it's it's so bad <laughs> that you're not sure Babe. how it made it Babe. to publish? <laughs> I was an engineer by trade. <laughs> Every diagram I followed someone else had drawn. 32, 43, 3, 5, 4. I can count higher than 43, Dave. They, um, I love sounds on mine. I, the, every, every diagram I followed someone else drew and every single one of them was done badly. Is it's okay if it's a diagram made on a computer? Because that's usually straight lines and there's numbers that correlate to the piece of thing you're, you need to pick up next. But when it's, they've tried to do a quirky hand drawing of how to crochet and it's, it's just confusing matters further. But I saw on Facebook, somebody did a really beautiful 
sort of tapestry of granny squares and different coloured sunflowers and it was honestly, it had so many happy colours in it and I thought, that's it, I'm learning it because that's amazing. Okay. That's my, the thing that they made, if I can get near that, then I'll be so happy with myself. I've kind of, I've just kind of stopped comparing to anything else. Yeah. Like, I don't want to get, like... I'm purposely not looking at other knights for... Excuse me, what? I took a paintbrush in my mouth. I'm purposely not looking at other knights for this project because I don't want to compare what I'm doing with anybody else. But you can already do what? So you can already paint? Yeah, well, yeah. But not, like, not to, like, like siege standards, for example. No, but you can already paint, so you already have an idea of what your finished product's going to look like. I cannot crochet. It does not make sense to me right now. All I have is this amazing thing I found on Facebook. And the distance from here to the amazing thing on Facebook is so far. <laughs> well, I mean, I can already paint is a, is a bit of a... In itself is a bit of an old wise tale right now. You can paint. Well, I know that. Chat don't know that because I've never seen you do it. Oh. So it's kind of a bit of a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a lie until you actually get to see it. I need I need I think I need to do a FaceTime with someone and I can say, right, how do I do this? I need I need them to FaceTime so I can see their hands and then I can go, stop, stop right there. What did you just do? <laughs> Where did that extra colour come from? <laughs> I'm sure you can pay to FaceTime and see people's hands. I'll be a king for that. <laughs> but there needs to be a crochet needle and some wool. What? Why? There needs to be actual something going on, not just the hands. Why? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not in it for the hands. I need to see them crochet. <laughs> what we're going to start with, chat, which I probably, is probably a bad idea, is I'm going to paint the armour on the head first, just because I want to. But considering I haven't done any of the piping or any of the uh, edging on the black yet, and I'm probably going to dry brush, this is probably a terrible idea, but this is where we're going to start. If I can bring the head to life, it will probably encourage me to do more. I know it sounds silly, but that's how my brain works. Now this is going to look terrible for a first layer because it's quite thinned because I need it to go on nicely because it's got to be comparable to the airbrush layers in terms of smoothness. I think I need a thicker wall. Maybe that's fine. So bad. I'm just going to push the green to the edge. So you don't know if you can see, I mean, you can kind of see it. It will go strong. After a couple of layers, it will go strong. Strong like ox. We'll go into the, into the gaps here. We could be a bit messy here because we're going to go over and do the, the brass on the, um, on the raised areas later. In the trim. be a bit messy here but it's going to look quite dark and watered for the first couple of layers because i'd rather do lots of thin clean tidy smooth layers than one big thick messy layer for strong con kind of straight away now if you want to see me keep painting on mondays chat, i'm happy to do it but you're about to find out why it takes me so long to paint anything i'm incredibly fussy about being neat and tidy and I apply techniques that are probably designed for tiny little parts of models to huge areas, which means it takes twice as long. Can you see it all right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you understand why I'm so bad at this? At what? This, crocheting. Because you've not done it before. Yeah, but I can knit. Surely no, the skills are transferable at some point. Uh, 
I don't understand if it was cross stitch because that thread is tiny. <laughs> Liam's painting. Expect ex expect snow tomorrow and low flying pigs. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Tim. Love you too. Uh, there's a there's an there's an additional to that as well, by the way. Uh, Tim, Liam is painting and enjoying it. That's the weirdest part. Honestly, airbrushing today because it, I it, I well I was talking to Joe about this earlier actually. I think it's because it's the model. I think it's because it's nice. No. No, yeah, it is. I've painted I've painted nights multiple nights before. I love painting nights. So what I've done is I've just gone back to doing something that I really like. <laughs> or something that I really enjoy. It was a very dainty snee. <laughs> Bless me. It was a very dainty snee. And going back to doing something that I like and something I enjoy is meaning that I'm actually doing it. Which is rare. Oh, that came off a bit too easy, didn't it? few layers we're here for it trust the process chat always trust the process the bit that I struggle with as well is so what I do on nights is I use evening I was hoping to get some new figures but couldn't find anywhere in Northampton that was open as I'm away on a course and board in the hotel. Nowhere in Northampton open. Got this on there. I was going to take one of those Viking cruises until I found out that you do not actually raid the towns and monasteries along the way. <laughs> well, no, they advise against their things, do you? I have a question for you, Stu. These days, they probably won't actually stop it. For the two books that I'm going to read, do I need to have read number one? Do is do you reference back to the previous book at all? So if I start book two, is there going to be stuff in there that I don't get because it happened in book one? So do I need to get book one? <laughs> this rate Liam's going to finish his lines before mine. I don't know how I feel about that. So what I was saying earlier, chat, was uh, I typically grip with my fingers around these points here on the night. So you'll see the paint's already starting to come off here. The paint's already starting to come off here. Now, I'd advise doing this only because when it comes to sticking this bit on here, guess what? It hides that whole thing. So it doesn't matter if you rub the paint off there. If you start gripping, like, say, around here at the bottom and you take the paint off these corners, you have to repaint them, obviously. Um, just a little helpful tip. Try and grab it in areas like this where you know that if the paint comes off, it doesn't actually make any difference whatsoever because you'll cover it with a panel. So there you go. Little, little handy tip. I do reference it, but you should be okay with the story. Okay. I'm holy. Thank you for five gifted. What a legend. Look at that. We're up to 19, 21, according to 
YouTube. The tracker's not cut, not got them all though. I have to edit the tracker. Twenty one apparently. Twenty one members is gone. That didn't really work. Couldn't do it. Who are you typing to? Dave. You can just talk. You got a microphone. No. Oh. oh, it's those kind of messages, chat. That's going to take many layers to get the head up to scratch. To get that nice smooth coat. We're here for it though. It's fine. Talking about poop diagrams. Why is GW insistent in putting the numbers on the diagram in order but the ones on the sprue are random as hell? Oh, Should be in reverse. So Mr. Liam, please have a talk with GW. I've never understood <clears> that. I, think, I feel like it should just be the other way around. Easy to find the part rather than chrono like num chronologically following along on the diagram. I feel like some of the sprues they started to make them make more sense. They started to. Those chimpanzees come in Horace, Lloydis, and blank, or just goody or baddie. I think they're blank or. I don't know actually. Hang on, I can get a box out in a minute and have a look for your PT. The, the kit, however, now I've not built the Acheron or the Castigator yet with all the um with the gun belts, the movable gun belts, but the kit for the Lancer was an absolute joy to put together, by the way. Like this was one of the nicest kits I've ever built. Especially big ones. Thoroughly enjoyed building this kit. Absolutely would recommend. Fun fact, this is the first time I've had the paintbrushes out since the striking scorpions as well. Bollocks. Does this mean I have to build and paint the three knights I've got in the pile of potential? Yes. Next thing to get together, Jill. One of the games will just be all knights all the time. Big night off. Jill's big night off. Jill's big night off, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it. Jill, by the way, chat, is an absolute legend. So the Thanes day that I attended the element on Saturday, all organised by Mrs. The Jill. What a hero. If you want to get involved in those kinds of events in the future, become a Thane. They seem to be making a pattern that isn't in the book. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> I'm going with it. It's the only one that's making sense to me because this book where I I get people wanting to make really cute and quirky and quaint little hand drawings, but it's really not helpful. I like the idea of a Thane's night off actually. 
Bane's night off. Sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah. Any kind of night off actually sounds great. I have this kit in Forge World Resin. Bought it about a month before they announced the plastic. Can't bring myself to swear at superglue. I'd um I'll be honest with you, Sean, I'd be tempted to see what it's going what the what the resin kit's going for on eBay. Because there'll be some people who will still want the old resin kit, guaranteed. And I wouldn't mind betting you could sell it, probably buy the plastic one and, and then not lose any money. I'm just saying. Big bad pig again, thank you for the thank you for the one gifted, you're a legend. <laughs> The Lance was such a cool kit to build, really, really easily posable as well. One of my favourites so far. Yeah, it's, it's a stunner. Like I um, I will one hundred percent, without doubt, no if buts ands or maybes, end up at some point with three lancers just because I think they're gorgeous. I was in fact looking at um potential list builds with four lancers in it, just uh, three lancers in it, just because they're cool. I was building armages on Sunday, bigger kits, always more fun than little fiddly bits. I mean, the armages are still pretty fiddly in places, like the pistons under the legs. A really shit pull, right? But if the a Porphorian comes out in plastic, then I'll be all over the nights. The Sarastas kits are almost pulling me as is. Ah, oh, honestly, chaotic. Uh, the, honestly, the, these Sarastas kits are fucking insane. They're so good. So, 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 so good. Oh. Thane's night off at Hobby House confirmed. Let's do it. I'm into it. What I also need to do is this. So this has had the Lupercal green and then the Sons of Horus green. This is my choice of highlight colors. So we're going to obviously shade it. I mean, never in doubt. Uh, we're probably going to panel line it mostly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go edge, extreme edge. What do we reckon? Cyberite green edge on Sons of Horus. Gauze Blaster green extreme edge. What do we think? Are you going to magnetize the way so you can pose it better? It's already stuck. It's already stuck, Mandy. And it's magnetizing nonsense. I don't use magnets. Come on, you know this by now. Are you butte? These going to end up in a battle report? Also, hi, Luz. When are you going to do some live 40k kitting or some great old willy warmers? Could also be fun. <laughs> great old willy warmers. <laughs> We well, wouldn't need to be very big, babe. Stop it. <laughs> Build a pram twice. Uh, yeah. I, um, so this actually is a project. <laughs> None of you will be surprised to hear this, Armholio. This was actually a project that I started a long, long time ago. Um, that I've been inspired to pick back up again last week by Mrs. S. Marvin from Australia. And um, the Thanes from this week. So the Thanes for this week all turning up playing. <laughs> Armies. A building 35 knights of the realm. Bombardment. Bombardment. Thank Bombardment. you so much, Pete. I can I can tell that's Pete already. Knights of the Realm is in Bretonians. So yeah, this is a project that I started. I actually started this project when the Lancer kits, sorry, when the Sarastas kits started coming out. Um, and I really wanted to do a knight army. And I wanted to do a knight army back in a previous edition, but I just didn't love I like the Questorus Knight kits. I like them. I just didn't love them as much as I thought I would. Um, so I have two or three Christorus class knights in the studio in boxes. And then I was going to try and put them into a Chaos Knight army. So I bought a few Chaos Knights because I thought it'd be cooler. Uh, Joe's now going to do the Chaos Knight army because we don't have one at the moment. Um, so this is a project from ages ago. And the proof in the pudding is that I decided on Saturday. I literally actually decided uh, on the drive home on Saturday that I was going to pick up uh, these kits at some point this weekend from the studio because they've been sat there for a while and start working on them. And the proof is I have already got for all of them uh, custom printed bases. Already good to go. Um, and these take a while to get to you so it's no way, there's no way I'd pick these up over the weekend but I've got custom printed bases already. Um, so uh, the intent is absolutely to bring these. I wanted to build a full, like, my own custom knight household army. One of the biggest issues I had, there's two big issues. First of all, I'm a monumental hobby magpie. I think I guess three issues. Second issue was I, I wasn't purposely forcing myself time to hobby. I spent the whole day today, this morning, the Thanes got a message about half past nine this morning. 
So I've gone in the garage, set up and sorted out the airbrush finally. I've been, I've been threatening to do it for weeks. I actually finally did it this morning at half nine. And the reason why these have all got colour in is I've been in, I've been in the garage airbrushing all day. Now, not only you will look at these panels and be like, that doesn't take all day. It does me. This is my problem. It does take me all day. It's part of my ADHD. I just get hyper-focused on something else or I lose concentration or I go do something else or, you know, I can't help it. So the only way I, uh, I've managed to get through this today is by forcing myself to stay in there and get them done. Um, and I am enjoying it. So that was the other reason was I wasn't forcing myself time to paint. I mean, if, you know, for a lot of you out there, I guess it's really easy for the hobby actually to take a back seat because it seems unimportant. It doesn't make money. It's not time with family. But I would actually encourage a lot of you to, to kind of be a bit more like selfish isn't the right word but make time for yourself and make time for your hobby because I'm finding now I'm doing this that I'm it chills me out I'm enjoying it I'm nice and relaxed so you need to forge out time for yourselves the third reason however is that nights at the start of 10th edition crazy busted night content even to this day doesn't do very well it just doesn't it's just a fact, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, there's a little part of you when you run a channel that's like, why would I spend time on something that isn't going to isn't gonna harness any, in, harness any interest, viewers, and honestly, you know, bottom line, revenue as well. Uh, so the reason why I'm painting them now is because of that selfish carve out my own time for hobby stuff. I want to do them. So I'm going to do them. And you can join in was I and watch along was I badly build and paint some nights. Because the list that I'm, that I'm working towards now is seven models, two Warglaves, two Helverins, one Acheron, one Lancer, and one Castigator. One of each of the three big boys. The paint's wearing off these cables, it's annoying. And off here as well, actually. It shouldn't wear off that easily, but it is. Yeah. Just finished your Chaos Nights last night. Well done, man. Last week, even. Well done, dude. This was fun. I'm not done yet, Nogamat. Matt. You're off already. Thanks for hanging out, dude. I need to go make dinner. What are you on about? Let's send this man an airbrush. I've got an airbrush. That's why I did all this. <laughs> my chat, my chat plays appearance. Yeah, possibly. All this paint wearing off is not good. Did I get paint on that leg as well? Let's get me some... Let me some matte black. <laughs> I see it, I see it. I see it, I see it. I can't paint in gloves, Mars. I can't do it. I cannot paint in gloves, mate. Dust comes out the pot really thick. This um, army paint to matte black. You're gonna have to be a bit careful with it. I've got some green on the on this bit that needs to be black. I'm just gonna re-black it. I 
this coming off like this is why I haven't um, started the edge highlighting process yet because there's nothing worse than edge highlighting and then it wearing off while you grab it. So get some more paint on. Let it dry off. And I hope that it stays on. Worst case, I'll have to put some varnish through the airbrush tomorrow just to hold the base coats on. Nordos, thank you for the gifted. Up to 23 of the finest gifted memberships already. Thank you very much, team. Your heroes. On a Monday. Who'd have thought it, Luce? I looked over just to see your tongue hanging out. Like you were impersonating the dog. Might just leave that for a minute. Fighting the temptation to not force a stitch. Varnish between coats. Yeah, I've never really had to do it, but... The base paint that I use, I think the recipe's changed slightly because it never used to wear off on my hands at all. But now it started, so... What we're actually going to do... Do I brave it and do some attack? Do I do this? Bibliotech. The bibliotech. I have no idea how I'm going to do this guy yet. I can't paint in gloves. I get fingers full of sweat juice. Yeah, absolutely. Not sure how we're going to do the old, uh, the old pilot yet. We could use some metallics, but I'd have to get a second paint of a cup of water. Mmm. Mmm. Varnish it. Yeah, I might do. Yeah. I'm surprised you're not showing off the towel coats like the rest of the, towel, the YouTube creators. Well, why would I? Leave me rest. The rest of the YouTube creators are doing it. I got it. There you go. Towel codex. Done it. Job done. In my head, varnish is a finishing coat. Surprise, you can paint on top of it. Yeah, you can. You absolutely can. Uh, Brandon, thank you for five gifted. What a hero. Uh, you absolutely can paint over it. In fact, you know, the whole Valhalla, and Joe um, uses chipping medium and gloss varnish and matte varnish through various layers. You, you absolutely can. Right, I'm going to get a second cup of water. Entertain chat, Luce. No, I can't. I'm too busy. And say chat, Luce. No. <laughs> I'm you. Oh dear, chat. You've been landed with B team. I don't understand what I've done. This doesn't look at all like the book. This book doesn't even make any sense. Just as you're walking past, have a look at my diagrams. Easy. Right, okay. Looks easy, that. Looks easy. <coughs> We've got a second pot of paint, chat, because of gold. So I'm going to be doing my trim in Balthazar Gold, which is a paint that, if you don't know already, has gold flaking in it. Oh, I've heard of that one. Because it's metallic. So if you use this paint and you use the same water as everything else you do run the risk of getting metallic flakes in your normal paints. Right? Sounds suspiciously like my glitter plan. If you get metallic flakes in your other paints, it could cause you problems. Safest option, two separate pots of water. So glad to see my passion about night has in some way helped you paint again. It, absolutely. I've, I've, I've entirely blamed you though, Mrs. Marvin, but yeah. I 
I've accidentally made a seam. How are you doing? A seam of nothing because I don't have two things I need to seam together. But are I... you not supposed to be following a pattern here? It makes no sense. Well, how, I don't understand how you're accidentally painting something. Uh, accidentally knitting something. I'm not knitting. Crocheting then, all right. As I'm finding out, they're two very different disciplines. They are not interchangeable. You get a chat, you get silent content. Once I paint, at least it accidentally crochets the wrong thing. <laughs> it's nice we've got the music. I'm going to drop that in the front. Would have been bad, wouldn't it? At this point, I'm curious as to whether it's. I mean, it might be a myth. I've always been told it's an issue, so I've always taken steps to avoid it being an issue, and I've never had a problem. But then it might also just be a myth. Now, with a paint like Balthazar Gold, you can't go too thin on it. It just looks awful. But you also can't go too thick. Because then it just looks awful. So I work lots of little brush strokes and lots of often. Lots of really tiny brush strokes for our gold. And I've always found this has worked better for me. Work for the paint. have a sitting position or a favourite chair or something. Do you know what? Genuinely, mm -hmm. painting on streams helped me. Oh, really? Well, because I have to hold it at the camera. I have to sit a certain way to get it under the camera. Uh, under the camera. So you were sitting badly before? I was sitting like this before. Oh, yeah, you were. Yeah. I was proper hunched over. So now, because of the camera, I have to pump the chair right up to the highest it can be. I have to lean in so they can see what I'm doing. If you look at me, I'm sat pretty much upright. Yeah. I heard loose is that Liam is providing a massage. Fucking isn't. <laughs>
This is what a night in an empty household sounds like if everyone's concentrating. A dual screen crochet and knitting. <laughs> no, I don't want to put a camera on my crocheting because everybody's wife that crochets will go, What are you doing? I don't know. I don't think they will. I think we always think people will criticise, and they never actually do. I feel like the actual critical people out there for things like a hobby are fewer and further between than we think. This was the wrong colour wall to do this one. It turns into an ASMR stream. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. Look, you want 28 members as well, chat. <whistles> Look at you lot going. <laughs> don't. Don't. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? Well, I, I was on Twitch earlier um, because... I can't remember what it was while I was watching. That stream finished. I went to the homepage. There was literally a stream on the homepage, and all it was was a woman with her chest out, basically, led on a pillow with her eyes open. And I didn't look at the stream, but I copied the link to the channel and put it in the only things and was like, how was there 2,000 people watching this live? Her pretending to sleep. I mean, there was, yeah. There you go. Uh, <laughs> FR Black Sheep says, why is she using a double cross stitch? Stop it obviously it. should be a slip stitch. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> I mean, Not he's right. Me. Obviously should be a slip stitch, babe. Obviously. 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 My favourite colour combo for crocheting, Jill, you lovely thing for asking. Um, it's either the really, really happy colours. So, like, lime green baby pink, sky blue, and all of that. Or I really like the natural colors, so sage green, um, a nice rose color. I don't I don't really, that's my two favorites. I've got tons of practice wool that's like really in your face colors because I'll knit something, pull it apart, to then learn a new skill on it. And by that point, it's all wrinkly and misshapen. So I only practice on that one. That's a big side, babe. Everything takes so long now. I used to just pick up new things. I'm getting old. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for five gifted, you legend. 33 members on a Monday. On a Monday? In this economy. Thank you so much, Jill. Thank you to everyone who's gifted so far. You're all amazing. If you've been gifted a membership, exclamation mark discord make sure you use that gifted membership i reckon you'll like it i reckon you'll enjoy it i reckon next month you'll go hmm i like that gifted membership i'm going to choose to be a member all by myself and then when these people keep gifting other people get a free go and the community grows you know what? that's the concept at least you giving up no i've pulled it apart because now i've got the stop it chat now i've got the wrist rhythm Hey, it's the night tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to try again. There is a rhythm though, like with knitting, there's like a, a sort of a rhythm that you find. I think I found my wrist action with this. <laughs> At this point, you did it on purpose. <laughs> The problem is, Jack, I'll get to bedtime. Filthy it, mind. It, the problem is, it'll get to bedtime and she'll be like, no, don't go anywhere near me. But put all the innuendos. Your endos. See? Joe's not at the studio tomorrow. Oh, is it his Tuesday off? Yeah. Who is it you've got? Brom and Kyle. 
Which means the earliest any of the other people will be at the studio will be Kyle at half six. I basically get to be at home tomorrow. And I'm actually thinking, chat, about just sitting there and carrying on painting. Not like me. Do you want to get on the mystery bus with us? No, I'd rather not. <laughs> Tomorrow's the day, chat. We've been walking past this bus stop for a year and there's never a bus that turns up at this bus stop. So I Googled it and I found out it's a bus that runs three times a day, only on a Tuesday and a Thursday. So we're going to get on the mystery bus. Wee man, thank you for five gifted. Look at you lot. Thank you so much, Wee Man. You're a hero. I love you. <laughs> Luce struggled through her crocheting and then the dragons came. <laughs> oh, we saw him that way. <laughs> Luce found her wrist rhythm and then the dragons came. <laughs> You filthy fuckers. What's my wife you talking about? She ain't wanking off no dragons. <laughs> Brian, thank you for the gifted man, what a legend. I think I'm gonna get really good at this stitch that I've somehow found and then find it in the book and see what stitch I've accidentally gotten good at. If it even exists. If it even exists, Imagine yeah. It even exist. Have I invented a stitch? I can't see how I've invented it. It seems the most logical one to do. Public transport, the most unreliable way to get from A to B. Through. So you have to get from point A to a temporary bus stop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> most unreliable way to get from point A to... B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. All of them. So true. The, true the true. bus fare cap finishes on New Year's Eve. I mean, you've got some time then. Yeah, I'm hoping something happens because if, if the cap stops <clears throat> and the bus fare goes back up to full whack, probably more because inflation and all that, then will be interesting. Well, they've given you a year's notice so you can get your driving license. No. No. After being in the car today with the two near misses today, just in the ten minutes it took to get home, no thank you. You weren't near misses. One of them definitely was. No, it wasn't. If that was me driving, I would have, I would have gone into the back of that first. I didn't have to take the new miss is like when there's like an evasive maneuver required or something. I don't have to take any evasive maneuvers. Oh, okay. They were just being a knob and they cut me up. Yeah, but there was maybe that gap that he forced himself into. There was maybe two inches of leeway. That's the, for me. I wouldn't have been able to do that reaction time. I, I definitely would yeah, have crashed would. with the kids in the car. You'd be surprised how much you get used to it all. It has a perception kicks in and you're already like prepared for it before it even happens. Shot idea is all in the wrist. We could do that, can't we? We could have like a hand throwing dice all in the wrist.
So neat. So neat. Make no mistakes, need no corrections. Look at me, Dave. Is it about crochet? Is it a French word, crochet? I assume so. I don't know if you're definite, but I assume so. In silence, so it was bliss. Yeah. <laughs> and Brom would come and sit round. Yeah, but Brom would come and sit round. He'd get his paints out. I'd spend all night making tea. He'd go home. I'd painted nothing. He'd painted loads. I'd fuss too much about hosting over painting. Those who hobby together, something, something, something together. Um. Those who hobby together hide their secretly bought hobby, hobby supplies together. From each other. From each other. <laughs> Did we talk about? This is the silence you pay for, isn't it, Dean? I don't think. I mean, I don't. Right, I don't disagree with you that quiet time and silence is nice. But when you've tuned into a streamer, I think it's quite bad. I'm just trying to think about how I can talk and concentrate on painting at the same time. At the moment, we're living off the, uh, the novelty that fuck me, Liam's painting. But that'll run out if I keep doing it. And I need to work out how I can be good at doing the painting thing and talking to chat at the same time. It's quite hard, actually. Christopher Sanford, thank you for the gifted membership. What legend? Does that put us on 40? Just 60 to go, chat. Easy, look. 160 of you watching, 60 to go. Easy, isn't it? watching the stream about machine gun fire. I've been honest with you, High Lord of Terror. I'm probably really giving that type of streaming up. Would 
you don't miss it? Well, I can still play the game without having to stick to a stream schedule. Um, the game's in a terrible place right now, so I don't really want to have to play it. And there's no other games I want to play. So I'm like, do I just force myself to play the game because there's content? It's also like, it's not really focusing on the main channel. I don't know. I don't think I'd miss it. Although one of the other streamers who play the game frequently literally said to me to get it today, did you want to get some games in soon? I was like, you fuck, I've literally just decided I'll probably get rid of it. Probably still get rid of it. Devil's advocate. Why is he knocking at your door now? Because I'm a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, thank you for gifted. You're a legend. 41. 59 to go, chat. Can we hit the first ever 100 members on a Monday night? Is it possible? Do it on a Monday tea. Hey Cooney, how's it going, dude? Look at that that mention called you Cooney shows up. <laughs> it's like tapping the dog food tin, isn't it? Yeah. What? Wow. Dave, thank you for the gifted. You're legend. Right, I'm having a break. I'm at a good point to break. Quite a hero, Dave. Thanks so much for the gifted, man. Up to 42. This one? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Like a, it's a very sort of, like a, a luxury colour green. Is that rose gold as well? Uh, no, but it, it does look similar to. That's a really nice combination. Yep. Thank you, babe. Are you giving out the compliments? Well, yeah. What are you after? She asked the chat, tell me. I got married yesterday. I saw, Shane. I saw. I also didn't see my invite anywhere, prick. <laughs> I 
I'd travel across the sea for you, Shane, 100%. <laughs> Hey Liam, would you like another excuse to come to California? Uh, yeah. Is it an open bar? She, um... Because that, that changes everything. She always beat you down, that woman, Shay, didn't she? Always beating you down. I think that relationship's run its course now, to be honest. <laughs> Shane is a fucking legend. Hope you had a great wedding, though, dude, honestly. Even if you are a grey name. Hope you had a great wedding. Someone get Shane a membership as a wedding present. There you go, chat. Now you've got a reason to gift. I regret this getting the annulment. <laughs> Quicker marriage than fucking friends. I was very aware at that point that you couldn't see what I was doing because I'm holding it like the claw. Adrian, man, thank you so much for the 10. She'll get to it. She'll get to it. I'm holy. I tried to get Shane. Chaotic Failures gifted five. Thank you. I'm holy for the one. Chaotic Failures, thank you so much for the five, man. What a legend. Let's see if he get. Oh, he didn't get sniped. Someone get that man a membership. I don't use an airbrush. I did use an airbrush. That's what all the that's what all the, the green colour is. All of these panels have all been airbrushed. You can tell. I mean, it looks airbrushed. Mordiama, thank you for the gifted. What a legend. Look at you. Almost halfway, chat. So can we make a poll on the next royal divorce? No. Is there another one? Look at those hairy fingers. It's definitely Liam. Was it ever in question? Thank you for the compliment. Where's this come from? Did Bridget wear the yellow suit? <laughs> I thought you didn't like use airbrushes on prior streams. No, yeah. Um, I, I've gone back. I'll be honest with you, Borns. I've gone back to um, one of the earlier airbrushes that I bought. So I had an airbrush that I used. And it was okay, and I was I. It wasn't too bad. And then I changed up to. Um, 
a couple of other fancy ones from other brands and had a terrible time with them. Uh, they kept clogging and breaking loose tail. I used to go out to airbrush, come in, clean it, take it back out, come in, clean it. And I used to get so annoyed and so frustrated, I just stopped airbrushing for a while. Then the, where the booth was, was in the garage, which was then taken up by the streaming setup for the games. Um, and um, I, I, it was too much faff to set up the airbrush booth and then get set up to the game again and set up the airbrush booth. So, so I just didn't airbrush um, ever. That on top of which is a lot of what people talk. So the, the other thing as well is, right, honesty, straight up, uh, you'll notice a lot of these are relatively solid color on the whole. So they are, they are airbrushed, but they're relatively solid color. The reason for that is uh, I didn't do any pre-highlighting or pre-shading before I put any color over. I don't like doing pre-highlighting and pre-shading simply because if I then, with the pit I'm doing now, for example, fuck it up, coloring that back over and making it look good again is very difficult for me. So I don't. I just stick to a relatively block color on the whole. So yeah, I got I went back to my original, which is a um, and it was it was recommended to me by Jay from Mohawk Minis as well, and I was an Iwata Eclipse HP something. Wait, one caller. It's an Iwata Eclipse HP CS. That's the one. Best airbrush I've ever used. Uh, I haven't really used it for like a year. Uh, I got it out today, put a little bit of airbrush thinner through it. I put some paint in it, started using it straight away, worked. Hadn't used it for over a year. Fucking fantastic airbrush. Absolutely battered paint through it all the way through today. Kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. So, so the one that messed you around was more expensive? A lot more expensive. Mm. Did you um, send it back? No, I used it for quite a long time. Because I was like, it must be me. Oh, okay. I was absolutely convinced it was me that was the issue. I wish you'd told me you were really frustrated because I just thought you were mildly annoyed. With what, the airbrush? Yeah. No, it was really it was really annoying me for a while. When I don't do well, like if I burn something that I'd tried to cook or whatever, I full on cry at you and then you're off to the shop to go and get the magic purple chocolate because I've sobbed at you for half an hour and soaked your shirt with my tears. I wish you'd told me because I would have then gone to the shop to get the magic purple chocolate for you as no, well. No, you know me, I just get on with it. Yeah, but stop doing that. Because then I've got no idea that you're actually really fucked off and you might need a cuddle. With clothes? No. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, I, hang on. <laughs> Always clothes. That was a contractual agreement there, chat, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, but if you don't... If you tell me... Like you've come in from the garage and you're really annoyed and me not slamming cupboard doors and throwing things around not clue enough but you don't do that and then i don't necessarily say to the boys right dad's in a little bit of a bad mood so just give him a bit of space and then you've got questions that kids oh they're fine about. they're, they're, they're no, fine I, I know but you know when you're like i just need a cup of tea boys can you just leave me alone for a cup of tea's worth yeah, Liam, man, I appreciate your feelings. I'm terrible at sharing feelings. I just get on with it. It's bad. I like. I tell everybody else not to get on with it, and then I just do it myself. Yeah, I'm a massive hypocrite with that. Oh, yeah, look at this, chat. I actually love this colour scheme. I actually love this colour scheme, chat. It does look nice. Cuddle with clothes, nearly consent. <laughs> 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 nearly. That's all you need. Yeah, I'm actually mad for this colour scheme. Look at that bronze and that green. That looks fucking gleaming. I'm really happy with that. I know it's taking me forever. Don't care. I'm really happy with this chat. It's all coming up, Millhouse. Let's do this one. It's very rare that I paint something, by the way, and at this point, I'm already really happy with it. Very rare. This is a monumental moment, chat. It's 
very rare. Thanks for the five, Jill. I'm sure she'll read it at me. Stuck on 49 members, chat. I'm just saying, if someone gives 20, we're up to 69. Just throwing that out there. The amount of times I have an idea for a paint scheme, by the way. And in my head, it's great. And I start painting it. And on the model, it looks terrible. And that disheartens me. I stop. And this one is one of those moments where I was like, I like the Sons of Horror scheme. I don't really want to paint 100 Space Marines for Horror Heresy right now. I wonder if I could apply that scheme. Because I've been looking to use Luke Picard Green forever. I wonder if I could apply that scheme to a different set of models. And so with Knight, I was like, this is a great idea for Sons of Horus because you've got the Horus like eye on the on the um Thrastus class knight panels. This is a great opportunity to apply a scheme and potentially have it make sense. And here we are. It seems to be working. Don Don, thank you for the five gifted. Listen to your wife. Don't keep your feelings in your belly. That's how you get stomach stress ulcers. Is that a thing? Yeah. Why well, should I have him years ago? Thanks for the five, Joe. You're a legend. Don Don, thank you for the five gifted, man. How you doing? Don Don was the one that showed me a thing on YouTube that's a song about how um, war hot molecules warm up cold molecules and hot can only transfer to cold cold doesn't transfer to hot and he's, he was the one that also said um, you use 200 muscles by taking a step well there you go yep. everyone in chat suck off Don Don Thank you so much for the five gifted though, dude. You're a legend. Thank you to everyone who's gifted. That puts us over halfway. Not had 100 on Monday yet. It might only be the second stream, but you know. What time are we stopping? In seven minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, but that I say that. The bonus of earlier streams is if the stream's going really well, I'm enjoying myself. And I'm like, I want to paint for another half an hour. I just can. So if you have more you want to do for the uh, unclothed coddle. No, that's for when you're mad at the airbrush. I'm, I'm mad at the airbrush. Machine. No, you're not. I am really mad at it. <laughs> I'm so mad at it, I came in and used a brush instead of you keep using it. Very mad. Your brushing's up there. Where's that from? Outcast, wasn't it? Was it? I think it's Andre 3000. He does um, experimental jazz now. Grr, the airbrush. Exactly, High Lord of Terror. Thought I'd actually be fucking painting, Chai. It was it was in Thane's earlier stressing about how hard it's been. There's Carl. See? See this?
just ignored you, Carl. As always, just ignored you. You said that earlier, then you carried on. I think... I think I've done a knit stitch. I don't know what you said to me. With a crochet hook. Very much asking the wrong person this. Did I do it? Did I win it crochet? Did I do it? <laughs> I picked a knit stitch. I think it's nice that you've lent Joe your ring so you can sit and watch him paint. <laughs> no one believes it's me, Luce. Good joke, Mr. Kindface. Someone get that man a membership. you laughing at? How's the drive back, Kev? You got impacted by that M25 nonsense. Pretty sure I saw you get in it like two o'clock in the morning. Ouch. That's a long drive. I don't remember what time we left. We haven't seen a monster can yet. Can't be Joe. Facts. Straight facts, chat. More to hammy nose. All the hammy nose. Don't talk to him about new monsters, Yestin. We're trying to talk him off of monsters. Not onto new flavours, off of monsters. He gets particularly excited when it is a fruit flavour. I think he, th if he thinks it's one of his five a day as well. How we enjoy the Monday night content in chat. I'm feeling like it's a bit a bit quiet. Which is, you know, arguably on me. But is that are the hobby streams a good thing? I think they're a good thing. 
Look, I'm actually sat here painting, so I think it's a good thing. But you know. Maybe I've misread the room. Is very much a good thing. Okay, good. I'm painting too, so I'm good. To oh, okay, all right, super positive. Okay, then we'll keep it. Because I was, I'll be honest with you, I was looking today at wall mounts for the top down camera because I'm sure a lot of you know now that if I bang my desk right now. It will shake like a shitting dog. So I've been looking at wall mounts for the camera. The last thing I want to do is spend money and build a slightly more professional hobby stream. If you're like, yeah, it's a bit shit, actually. Damn, Skippy. Exactly. Skippy, thank you for 50 gifted. Fuck me. Biggest of a Monday night stream. Chat, told you. We're going to get over 100 for the first time ever on a Monday night. Thank you to Skippy who is, of course, magnificent. Not just because it says it in his name, either. What a hero. Thank you so much, dude. Thanks, Gippy. I guess he likes hobby content. He just voted for all of you. Here's the, here's the interesting follow-up question that I had lined up for you then, people, as well, before Skippy just dropped his 50 bomb, right? My intent at the moment to, for the hobby streams is to literally use them to do my hobby. So whatever I'm working on at the time is what I'm going to do on the hobby streams, okay? So, which, which I know sounds obvious, but that might mean that for the next two months you just watch me build and paint my night army now is that cool or is that like mm, we're gonna get bored of nights to him or is it just because is it is it the specific model i'm doing or is it just because we're hobbying because I, I i'm hoping it's the latter but i just want to, i just want to ask the question I don't want to get to a point where it's like, oh, he's fucking painting nights again. But I haven't painted an army in fucking time. I haven't painted an army in a very, very long time. So I'm, I'm kind of using and abusing you guys to get to a point where I have something done. And, you know... It actually worked because the reason why part of the reason why I got the scorpions done was because of the Twitch hobby streams. So it has like it's proven this is proven to actually help me hobby and help motivate me to hobby. So I feel like I'm I'm gonna abuse you for it, but I didn't want you guys to be like, oh great, more fucking nights content. It, well it's not bat reports, is it? So it's not like it actually really has any impact. I'm still sat here building or sat here painting or or doing hobby at least. So I feel I figure it's okay, but I thought I'd ask. I don't know how high up this I need to go. Probably already gone up too high. Because some of this is covered off by the red shoulder pad. Here's my plan as well, right? This is a secret. This was a secret plan, but I thought. Now we've hit 100 members on a Monday night. I thought I think I'll share my secret plan with you. Okay. My secret plan was to paint the night army, and then add a warhound as a, like a reward, and do it on stream.
I don't even know if that's feasible to see. Fully feasible bring forth the Titan. Well, I've got to get the army done first, otherwise it's not really a reward, is it? Thank you for the five arm, Harley. Puts us on 80 bucks. You're a legend. getting on over there with your crocheting uh well i'm holding the yarn in the wrong hand that's good that's a good start i'm doing a stitch that isn't in the book good okay so we're freestyling there is uniformity so there is method to the madness so we're actually freestyling with crochet <laughs> yeah it's all good fun until somebody gets hurt a crochet. <laughs> if you fancy can print out a bust on the 3D printer for something to paint if you fancy it in the future. Thank you. I'm happy. I have a 3D print. I have a 3D printed uh, banshee head here already. The bust. Which I'd like to do at some point. it's sexy cheapest army to get from zero to playable mm. maybe custodies possibly these possibly knights I've never really done a, like a, a point for pound kind of comparison it'd be quite interesting wouldn't it content like do like five armies with the smallest model count possible work out how many pounds it would cost and then how many points it is obviously close to 2000 to work out a point per pound value then you could rate them be interesting isn't it content idea that you can have that one Crocheting left handed. I don't know. Are you asking me? I don't know anything about crocheting. I'm good. I should be working hard, but I'm too relaxed. That's good, isn't it? Reference chat as well, in case anyone cares. So far, everything. 
brush one artist opus. Unless it was re put in the black on the night, in which case we use a brush two, just to keep them separate. But this thing has forever been an absolute workhorse for me. If you can, if you can. You mean put down panels half done as well? It's because of where I have to grab them. Rocking right along. How's it going, Nagel Matt? How's it, how's it going, dude? We are already stayed here longer than we intended to. I don't know what colour to do this bit here. I'm thinking black. I need some help for this this big this big panel here. But the only reason I'm thinking black is so that this can still be gold. Or I could do a black to red fade. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? What, on the airbrush? No, no, I wouldn't do it on the airbrush because I've already airbrushed this piece here. I'd have to brush paint a, a, red, a black to red fade here. Which is doable. See, it's not hard. I'm going to make um, my muffin and custard. Did you want some? Yeah, muffin and custard, yeah. Eat it live on stream, I get views. Two hours, and all I've done is that. Oh dear. It's really hard to learn. It's trim still gold. Yeah, but this bit's Marvin's gold here, and then this bit would need to be gold to match. Okay. Did you ever have chocolate custard in primary school? I think so. I don't know, Garth, if I'm honest. This is the Lancia. Yeah. Do the eye red. That's a good shout, actually. I like that. It's not a bad shout, chat. I was in with the doctor and he said not to eat anything fatty. I asked, what? Like bacon and burgers. He replied, no fatty. <laughs> Love you, Stu. Thanks for the five, dude. Up to a mighty 84 beans on a hobby screen. And 105 members. You guys are insane. Thank you so much. So much. I'm so often so blown away.
get some more gold out, which means this might be where we think about coming. Team Yellow have got, got pink custard band. So many reasons to hate that man. Thank you, Neil, for the two bucks. You're legend. that gold chat was that gold it's out of gold he's obviously in the pot so if I want to mix up any more or not Just cream, or do you want toffee sauce? I thought I had custard. It's not custard. It's peach slices. <laughs> Did you not go to the supermarket earlier as well? I don't buy custard all that often, so I thought it was just something in the back of the cupboard that needed using. Do you want cream, or do you want toffee sauce? What are you having? Um. How do Vikings communicate? They use Norse code. All set for Warhips' visit. But I, fuck I don't yet know how to turn the scoreboard off. Because we won't have a scoreboard for the AOS games. I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do content plan yet. He just speaks about what time he's getting down, what he's happy to do. Carl's happy to produce on a Monday night if we do two games. But, um... I, I, honestly, I don't know. I can't really sit here in a hobby stream with Mr. Oh, you, you know Mr. Warhips is there next week, don't you? I have told you. Yeah. yeah good. I do. Today, all of a sudden my wife started screaming at me, you never listen to a bloody word I say. I was taken aback and a bit shocked. What an odd way to start a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> if I do the toffee sauce, then I can use the leftover tomorrow on Millionaire's Shortbread. But then that's me like in the kitchen again this evening. I didn't really want it. But if you want toffee sauce, I'll do toffee sauce. No, that's okay. Just, I just won't have muffins. 
No, you're having the muffins. I've taken the paper casing off them now. You're having them. Nah, that's what right. What do you want on them? Nah, do you want toffee sauce or cream? I just have cream. Just cream? Yeah, you don't want to be in the kitchen, so I just have cream. Jill, I have broken my heart too many times over making my own custard. But I did actually come across a custard recipe when I made mooncakes last year. I might give it another go. Don't listen to Jill anyway. She didn't even do a raffle. She loves a bloody raffle. <laughs> right, team. I think, considering the time and the fact that we're supposed to finish these earlier, we're going to call it. Which means at the moment, the hobby streams are lasting actually nearly two hours instead of an hour. Which I'm okay with. I'm okay with it. Genuinely. So there's a bit of a recap. I have to keep these very neat, neat and tidy. That's why my brush is last. <laughs> Shook it. <laughs> Shook it. <laughs> Right, so. Right, so chat. To summarise. We did start to get a bit of green on the helmet. It needs another coat or two to be nice and solid. We're getting there, a bit of green on the helmet. We had to add some black back on because we were wearing some of it off. We have to add some more, I reckon. Maybe I'll blast it again with the airbrush tomorrow and then varnish it. Uh, these are all airbrushed today, all these greens and, and reds. We've started putting some of the bronze on. That's one of these panels. There we go. That's what we've done tonight. They do look really nice. The, I, the, uh, the green gold, the green bronze combo, I'm really happy with, actually. Really, really happy with. So, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. It seems people are super keen for the hobby content, which I'm really happy with. Um, because if people are really keen for it, it's even more encouraging, even more motivating to keep doing hobby streams. Because I was there was a little part of me that was concerned, right? Because I'm not a hobbyist by trade, typically. You know, I'm a fucking loud mouth war gamer who plays the game and shouts at people. Um, so there was a big part of me that was concerned. That I do hobby content, we'd have three people watching, and then it would just murder the algorithm. Actually, people seem to enjoy it, which is good. And I, maybe I said this to the guys at Siege. I'm hoping it's a little part because I'm the average Joe hobbying mm. rather than some fantastic painter. So uh, my fingers are crossed that that's what's going on. And you guys keep tuning in, hobby along on Monday nights um, and enjoy yourselves. Uh, I'm certainly already enjoying this project more than I thought I would, which is a strong start, actually. So if you're getting green on the helmet, you need to get to the clinic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I need Broke Boy's Guide to 40k Points Per Pound video. Yeah. Top progress last scheme. Thanks, man. Thanks, Joe. You're a legend. So, yeah, I, I, this is the intent, right? We just, we're just going to sit here and hobby. And it might change week on week because I'm kind of leading... In, I'm kind of... I'm trying something new. I'm kind of just leading in, leaning into the ADHD at the moment. Um, and I don't know. At the moment, it's working for me. I've got half a built demon prince on my desk and I don't feel bad about it. I'm just leading into it and we're off. We're off. I'm a hobby and we're building knights. Well, we're painting at the moment. We're painting at night. And what I'm thinking about doing for this project, and I don't know if... Um, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm thinking build, paint, night, complete. That's reward to build, paint, next night. What I should have done, in seriousness, and the reason why I gave the Thanes the option today was because it was it might have been possible, is I should have done armager, big night, armager, big night, armager, big night, armager. So what I'm thinking about doing is doing big night, two armagers, big night, two halverins, big night to finish. And I thought like that would be um, more of a reward kind of thing. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to do a big night, two armagers, big night, two armagers, big night. And then that'll be it, right? Half built demon prince is a vibe. It is a vibe. Yeah, it's not the best vibe. You guys have been absolutely incredible today. We've got 170 of the finest likes. If you haven't already smashed that button for me, you wonderful people. We did 105 new members. Ignore what the banner says. It's actually 105 in front of me. And we did 95 of the beans on the Super Chats as well. We normally have a, a Wednesday, Friday target of around 100. So you people are incredible. Absolutely incredible. You smashed it out of the park. Thank you so much, you beautiful humans. 
Uh, I'm now going to go and have uh, muffins and no custard. Muffins and cream. All, the, all this work I do. <laughs> Not promised custard. No, I'm joking. Uh, Skippy, by the way, huge shout out to Skippy for the 50 gifted. You're absolutely incredible. But everybody who gifted is also amazing. Thank you for the 105 members. You are incredible people. Exclamation mark Discord. Get yourself in there if you haven't already. Alternatively, I told you already, right? I came back motivated because I spent Saturday with the Thanes. Uh, I'm doing nights because of a Thane. Uh, if you want to get yourself in the only Thanes WhatsApp chat, you can exclamation mark gift exclamation mark member. You can click the link. You can upgrade today if you want to. If you're already a Sculpt Team member, you can upgrade just to just to Yarl and you get ac access, free access to a monthly giveaway just for being a Yarl Tail member. Uh, but if you want to get yourself in that WhatsApp chat, which is busy, you can upgrade to Thane. Come and hang out in there. And we're going to be doing probably once, especially once Hobby House is up and running, we're probably going to be doing one big community get together day every year and two smaller Thanes events on top of that, just for Thanes and above. All right. Anyway. You people have been absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.